Hey everyone. So I'm officially sick of doing chores to prepare for the winter. And I'm in the mood to make some lumber. I got an oak log over there on the mill and it's waiting for us. Let's go see what we can turn it into, huh? And now that I got most of my winter chores done, I got the the woodsheds done. Almost. I still have one left over there, but I'm not gonna sweat it today. I wanna get a log mill that's about three o'clock. So I probably only get about an hour and a half of daylight. So I'm gonna try. I'd like to get another log milled after this, but I'm just gonna worry about getting this one done. So let's get started.
All right. Well, that's all I have time for today, but you can see it's starting to get dark out. And the camera doesn't take good videos in the dark, and I still have to rake my roof off. But I wanted to at least get one log milled. I like to try to get a few done each weekend, but I got at least one done today, so that's not bad. Um, but yeah, these came out really nice. Love the uh, grain figure in this. And I can see the blade is starting to cut a little bit choppy. So it's probably starting to get dull. So I got those two boards there. These boards are about roughly eight feet long. And I got these two on top and then these two on the bottom. So I got six total boards out of this log. Um, looks to be about, if I were to guess, ten, nine to ten inches wide. And I'm cutting them to about one and a quarter inches thick. And that's a pretty good record for me. Um, I think this was probably maybe, uh, I'm going to guess about a half an hour. I got that one log done. That's not bad. That's I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah. Uh, I still have a lot to clean up. I threw a tarp over it before it snowed so I wouldn't have to deal with it. the snow in there. I could just throw the tarp or whatever plastic that I have on there. And I have this uh, metal roofing that I used to cover the track of the mill and it actually did a really good job of keeping it clean because we had about uh, three or four inches of snow and there isn't uh, even the tiniest bit of snow on the track or the mill and that tarp is working really well with the bungee cords um, so yeah that's all I got for today on milling thanks for watching if you uh, are new here um, and you like this video uh, consider subscribing I, I'm gonna plan on doing a lot more of this stuff um, it's actually not too bad doing this out here in the snow uh, especially with my machine I can keep the yard nice and clean um, so it's making it pretty easy, but I'm going to probably have to bring the backhoe part over here to get this stuff out. Um, so I'll do that. I'll show you that on a, an upcoming video. But um, yeah, if you're new here and you like this sort of stuff, consider hitting that subscribe button. And when you do, you'll see the bell icon. You hit that and you'll get all the notifications about when I put out new videos. I appreciate you watching and I'll uh, see you on the next video. Take care.